Okay, hello and good morning. Let's take a look. We're finishing up the first week of this uh, marking period here. So I want you to graph those points and find the distance. So let's take a look here. And this is for a geometry class. So to graph these points, remember it's over and then up or down. Write that down and memorize it. You must be able to graph a point. Put a star by this. Over first. So this one, you're going to go negative 3. So that's 0. And you're going to go over. 1, 2, 3. And then this is a positive. And there's your point A. This one is over, but to the right, because it's a positive, and then down four. And there it is. And that's how you graph a point. Make sure you can do that. I want you to say this to yourself. Over, then up or down. All right, next. Distance formula. Here we go. So you first write this down, and you have to memorize this. And I want you to write it down exactly like this. Now, your X's go in the first one. Remember, your X is the first one. So those are your X's. And it doesn't matter which one you start with, but I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to say negative 2 and negative 4, just like that. Now, since I started and went this way for my Y, I need to do it the same way. So, whichever way you start, you have to do it the same way. So, put negative 3 and 5, just like that. This becomes a plus. So, 4 minus 2 is 2, so you get 2 squared. And this gives you a negative 8 squared. 2 times 2 is 4. 8 times 8 is 64. And a negative squared will be a positive. So on your calculator, you're going to press the square root of 68. If you don't have a calculator today, that's all you can do. But I do, so I'm going to press 68, shift, square root, and I get 8.2. Now remember a couple of things. First of all, math fees. I'm going to come around and collect that, so have that out, and I'll mark you down accordingly. Remember, you got the workbooks, and then today, uh, Monday, you have a calculator, you must have it on your desk, okay? So if you don't, that's going to be one demerit for not having your supplies. All right, let's keep moving. Also, make sure you bring your workbook every day. Um, this one right here, it says math uh, due on Canvas, okay? Canvas only. If you do not have the Internet, make sure you see me before you leave, and I'll verify it with your mom as well. Okay, or your dad. So canvas only, and I'll show you guys how to upload it, and uh, and you can go from there. All right. So let's see what else. On a new sheet of paper, I want you to work these right here. No talking. Put name, date, and period. All right. Let's take a look at these. Same signs, you're going to add and keep the sign. Opposite signs, you're going to subtract and keep the sign you have more of. When you multiply or divide, same signs will be a positive. Opposite signs will be a negative. Make sure you know those rules. So for this one, this is rule one. The signs are the same, so that's a negative six. You add and keep the sign. This one, the signs are opposite. That's rule two. You have more positives, so that's a positive two. This one, you have more negatives. Okay, you have opposite signs, and so that's a negative two. This is a double negative, so that becomes a plus. Now you have opposite signs, so you subtract, but you have more positives here. And then finally, this is right next to each other, so you multiply. A negative times a negative, that same sign, so that's a positive 8. If they got 100%, put minus 0 at the top. If they missed 1, put minus 1. Give it back to their owner, and then you're going to submit this with your bell work. 
Um, take that back. You're going to turn this in with your homework. So turn in with homework this weekend. Okay, you have from Friday to Monday only. No later. All right, this one right here says find the distance. All right, so on a new sheet of paper, let's take a look at the distance. Remember, your x's go in the front. So it's going to be a negative 1 and 2 and then 4 and negative 7. So this becomes a negative 3 squared. This becomes a plus, so that becomes 11 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. 11 times 11 is 121, and when you add that up, you get the square root of 130. And if you don't have a calculator, that will be good enough for now. So I'm going to press 30 shift, or 130 shift square root. I get 11.4 is the real answer. Okay, there it is. Today I want you to finish that worksheet from yesterday, worksheet D. If you were absent and you did not get it, remember it's on Canvas, but it's also in that green folder over there by the mirror on the cart by the pencil sharpener. Have a good day. Well, let's talk about now about MCR. Alright, so on MCR you're going to go ahead and uh, add and subtract fractions here. So let's take a look. On this one right here uh, you do not have the same denominator. And let me show you how to find the least common denominator. You take the big one. And I didn't show you this before. The big one is 4. Does 3 go into 4 evenly? No. Double it. 8. Does 3 go into 8 evenly? No. Triple it. 4, 8, 12. Does 3 go into 12 evenly? Yes. 12 is your least common denominator. So write that down. Always take the bigger one. Double it, triple it, until they work. So this one right here, you're trying to get a 12. So 3 times 4 is going to give you that 12. 4 times 3 is going to give you that 12. So it's going to be 8 over 12 minus 3 over 12. You have more positives, so your answer is going to be 5 over 12. This one right here is a little different now, so watch. There's a lot of ways you can do it. First of all, a positive times a negative is a negative. And this is on your worksheet today. Okay, so what you could do, since the signs are the same, um, you could change it to an improper fraction. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make my denominator 8. So I'm going to get negative 2 and 7 over 8 minus 1 and 4 over 8. And then here, a negative 2 and a negative 1 is a negative 3. 7 plus 4 is 11 over 8. And so 8 goes into 11 one time. So that's going to be a negative 4 with 3 left over. And that's how you do that. You see, 8 goes into 11 one whole time. That's where that 1 came from. 1 times 8 is 8. Subtract. My remainder is 3. You put your remainder over your divisor and you're done. Now the way I showed you was to change it to an improper fraction and you can do that. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 7 I think is 23 over 8 minus 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2. This will work. We're going to multiply by 4 here. So you're going to get negative 23 over 8 minus 12 over 8 which equals a negative 45 or negative 35 over 8. And that's the same thing as what I have. Okay? Uh, homework is due on Canvas. Uh, see me before you leave if you do not have the Internet, and I will verify it with your mom or your dad. Um, but all your work is due from Friday to Sunday, and we'll go over exactly what I want for that. Okay? We were supposed to have a little quiz on the rules, but instead, we're just going to get started on this worksheet. And some of these worksheets did not come out real good. So if yours did not come out real good, you'll need a new copy. So you'll have to get up and uh, get it. And I will load it on Canvas. You can see the back of this one did not come out very good. But this one did.
Okay? So let me go ahead and show you these here, and then we'll move on. And remember, you can get it on the video, or you can get it on Canvas, or in the folders. Have a good day.